Hello gamers and uh, you know video game collectors, enthusiasts. Um, here today, just moving in a new place and mind the mess. But uh, before I, I get settled in my new my new house, I wanted to do a collection video on my NES. I'm after selling off about 40 doubles here this week, and uh, but today I'd like to go to the remainder of these games. Um, I believe somewhere in the number of 275, 300. Um, after the doubles are gone and here you can see I'm rocking my uh, PS4 Play and pray man. I, I really like that game um, so nonetheless uh, Let's get into this video. I like to see uh, basically what you folks think of my Nintendo collection I uh, started out with a uh, Atari Commodore 64 ColecoVision, you know before I eventually had an Atari Way back when we're going 35 years ago, I guess or 30 30 years ago <laughs> Um, 39 at the, at the moment but regardless uh, I have played you know a fair share of Nintendo games since I was a kid and I've only played a small percentage of my collection because I started this recently a few years back and uh, I'd like to really get your opinion on the collection and some of the games you recommend and some of the gems I don't have so nonetheless we're going to start with this pile here <clears throat> let's go through it sorry about the video quality I have to do it with my uh, iPhone um, first game we're going to talk about, and I'm going to go through the games quickly, but this is uh, Voice Project Doom. Love this game. This is a game that I did play. Um, really, really enjoyed it. A few different modes of, of gameplay. I had some side-scrolling, some, some overhead racing slash shooter type, but really enjoyed this game. Recommended. I think it's gone up in price a little bit. Kiwi Craze. Operation Wolf. Again, if uh, I come across some games you guys think are hidden gems or good games, let me know. Mickey Mouse Capades. The Predator. I want to try this one. I want to try them all. Rad Gravity. I've heard good things about this game. Friday the 13th. A game that, you know, gets beat up quite a bit, but there is some examples online. If you really understand, do some research and understand what what the goals are and what do you have to do in this game it becomes a better game track and field Wario Woods Dragon Warrior 3 I haven't got into the Dragon Warrior series yet I do have a couple more games as you'll see as we go here push that pile aside next game is Shockwave looks like an aftermarket cart Taboo, The Sixth Sense. Kid Icarus, really want to try this game. Um, heard lots of build it. I have this copy. I have a, a copy for the Nintendo 3DS, I believe. Section Z. Rocket Racer, Ranger. Pinbot. Who hasn't played this one? Duck Hunt. Um, unwanted. This is a game that uh, I know it's gone up in value. The last time I checked, I thought it was 50 or 60 bucks. Push into the side. Adventure Island 2. Thunderbirds. Wizardry. Looking forward to try this one out. The Mutant Virus. Exevious. Had this for the Commodore 64 way, way back in the day. Shadowgate. I believe I have this for the Game Boy Color. It's supposed to be a good game. Gremlins 2. Another game is supposed to be decent. Yoshi's Cookie. Dr. Chaos. This is a game where the value has gone up a little bit or is worth a few bucks. And that's called Band of Kings of Ancient China. From what I know, it's an expensive game. 60, 70, 80 bucks, I believe. Next up is Hogan's Alley. Of course, the classic Maribos. Loved this game when I was a kid. And the next game is Isolated Warrior. This is a game that I love. I played this a couple of years ago and, and beat it. And boy, oh boy, what a game. Um, of course, I used the Retron 5 with the autosaves. But uh, man, oh man, this really gives you that nostalgia feeling. This, this Blaster Master game was just... 
off the charts. Love this game, folks. Highly recommend it. Check it out. Baseball stars. Actually worth a few bucks for a sports game. And here's another solid title, which I haven't played yet, but seen lots of highlights and playthroughs. G.I. Joe. There's a couple of G.I. Joe games. I have uh, both. I mean, I have both two in my collection. MC Kids. Xanak. Street Fighter 2010. I heard this was a good game. Of course, Metal Gear. Snake's Revenge. Have to try this. And have to try this game too. Ghost and Goblins. Know it's known for its difficulty. Russian Attack. I heard this was also a fun game. Next up, we have the Black Manta. Robocop. Wild Gunman. Festers. Heard this is one of the hardest games on the system. Whether that's true or not. Ninja Kid. Solar Jetman. Hook. Home Alone. Top Secret. Episode. Go Go 13. Power Blade. Played this game. Beat it. And loved it. Great music. This is what the NES tunes are all about. Here's that other G.I. Joe game I was talking about. Silver Surfer, again known as being one of the hardest games on the system. Gyrus. Solstice. This is a game I really want to try. Guardian Legends. Heard great stuff about this game. Really looking forward to it. North-South. Platoon. Deja Vu. Heard this was decent. Prince of Persia. Faxanadu. I also heard this was a good RPG. Want to try it out for sure. Boy and his Blob. Looking forward to this one. Wizards and Warrior. And of course the classic Alien Syndrome. Uh, let's move this case next. This is some aftermarket multi carts. 401. 115 one. 110 and 1. Getting into some old school stuff now. 190 and 1. And 52 and 1. Really old school stuff now. This is the 32 and 1. That's old school. See the Famicom, Famicom connector piece. Connector cart, pin connector. Another old school, 31 and 1. Okay. Again, I apologize for the quality. Let's move over to this section of games. RC AM Pro. Pro AM. Star Voyage. Tomb and Treasure. Pipe Dream. Miracle. Piano Miracle. Defender 2. Sorry if I'm going fast. Legacy of the Wizard. Karate Champ. Birthday Blows. Sky Shark, Rocketeer, Commando, boy I got a little mess going here, Desert Commander, another aftermarket Joshua, Dragon Power, Rescue, Kung Fu Heroes, The Little Mermaid, Turbo Racing, Robin Hood, The Hunt for Red October, Stealth, Laser Invasion, Infiltrator, Defender of the Crown, Rampart, Knight Rider, Tecmo Super Bowl, sports game worth a few bucks, Cool Kid, Ninja Crusade, Urs, Cubert. Now, let's go over and some of the higher end stuff, I believe. So, the first bad boy we're going to look at, boom, aftermarket Moon Ranger. This guy, um, 
it was worth a few bucks. I mean, Canadian, I believe it's over 100 bucks, 150 bucks. I've looked at some listings recently and seen it go over for over 200. But the mine's a little stained, but nonetheless, pretty cool. Another valuable game. I'm not sure what it goes for now. 70, 80 bucks. Felix the Cat. Dino Wars. Wolverine. RBI Baseball. Remember, this is a kid. Bo Jackson. Bo knows baseball. Tiger Heli. Of course, all these are backwards. Spy Hunter. Wayne Gretzky's Hockey. There's two different editions of that. Immortal. Another game that's uh, worth a few bucks. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Legendary Wings played this, beat it. Again, used the Retron 5 for the uh, time save slots cheat. Like that game. Trog, heard that was pretty good. Excite Bike Classic, of course. Remember this as a young guy. Who doesn't love this game? Castellier, haven't played it. As with most of these, Rambo. Aftermarket again. Journey to the Promised Land. Exodus. Exodus. Tag Team Wrestling. Another wish game from the kid. Kung Fu. Again, who hasn't played this bad boy? Airwolf. Black Bass. Worm. To the Earth. There's a game I played. Beat Life Force. Love this game. The Jackal. Wrecking Crew. Jeopardy. Monster Truck Rally. Dream Master and Bigfoot. And we have uh, the Secret Skull Flying Dragon and the Bird's Tail. I heard the Bird's Tail is pretty good. Let's get on down to these guys. So, let's bring up a bunch of Okay. We have Bonnet Commando, Dick Tracy. I'm going to try Bonnet Commando. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Manhattan Project. Renegade. Orb 3D. Pictionary. This is a game I've never been able to say the name of it. Uh, let's have a look here. Skyber. Razad. Okay. Deadly Towers, another aftermarket game, King of Kings, the early years, sure hope you guys are enjoying this, Mickey Safari Letterhead, Letterland, Castle Quest, Dr. Mario, and Load Runner. Carry three, the rescue, Conan. Heard that was terrible. Donna Ricky, Caveman Games, the three Scrooges, and of course Ducktales, which I haven't played, but I mean I heard so much about it, I can't wait to try that one out. Goonies two, heard that was decent. The classic 1943, and Bart Simpson, The Simpsons, Bart versus the Space Mutant. We're getting there, folks. Wizard Warriors 3. We have the uh, uh, Quattro Adventure, four games in one. Uh, the Legend of Cage, Narc. Clash of Demon. I heard this was underrated. I want to try it. Star Tropics. Want to try that game bad in Galaxy 5000. I got both Star Tropics. I'll show you the two here shortly, but great. It's supposed to be a great RPG. Donkey Kong Classics. And Air Fortress. Heavy Barrel. The Untouchables. Rad Racer. 
Days of Thunder. Trojan. This is a Star Trek 2, I believe, called Zodiac's Zoda's Revenge. I really want to try that series. Spider Man Return of the Sinister 6. Kid Nicky, Radical Ninja. Again, Aftermarket Captain Comic. Bayou Billy, Robo Warrior. World 3D Runner and Raid on Bungling Bait. Okay, there's another box there. Let's move on to this box, which is a box of inbox completeness, excellence, total recall. Look at this game, classic, classic folks. Super Mario 3 could never beat this as a kid, but recently got my uh, Retron 5 in use. And played through it and loved it. And this was in excellent shape. Hudson Hawk. The Blue Merlin. Silent Service. Dark Man. We have the Adventures of Link. Nice having that one complete in box. Some new copies. Back to the Future 2 and 3. And the game I want to play. I just tried this out to test the copy. I sold a, a loose copy. And man, the color in this was excellent. And this is a beautiful copy and box. Complete box Kirby's Adventure. Next up we have Road Blasters. And we have Excels. Don't know how to pronounce it. But I heard this was an underrated game. Let me try that one out. And next we have the Viper. And let's see. After that we have Jack Nicholson's Golf. I would never try him. And we have a Tengen game. Inside we have Gauntlet. Let's go through the rest of these fairly quick. We have uh, com these are all CIB complete in box. I got those nice plastic uh, covers on them, box protectors. So seven twenty. Flight of the Intruder. We have Image Fight. Uh, Dungeon Magic. Dungeon equals Magic. Low G Man. Gorilla War. Super Pip Fighter. Home Alone 2. Xenophobe. Star Force. Magic Darts. Godzilla. Fox Peter Pan and the Pirates. King's Knight. Cobra Triangle. Willow. Gilligan's Island. Hector. Uh, Dirty Harry, and then this really cool, I don't know much about the game, but really cool um, Where in Time is Carmen San Diego comes with a big box back in the day. Really nice, glad to have it, mint shape. Let's move over here. We have this uh, cleaning kit, it's kind of cool. This is a plastic fake case, Mega Man 3, nothing in there. Another CIB, Target Renegade. Dr. Jekyll and Hyde. Couple of loose games in there, Solomon's Key. Uh, the Creon and Conquest. I heard this is worth a few bucks. Not an over around 100 mark, not sure. Let me see here, a couple of games we have. Puzzling. Blades of Steel, who doesn't love that game? One CIB, beautiful condition. Time Lord CIB. And then we have Cabal CIB. And then I have a, another box of goodness here. This is games that I had those uh, plastic protective cases. And they're not the original boxes, but they're those, those nice looking uh, clay, classic cases where you can get the nice um, artwork. So all these games are in their case. Most have the manuals. Um, let's start out here. Uh, Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, love that game. Dragon Warrior. Double Dragon 3, Rainbow Islands, Batman, Legend of Zelda, um, Super C, I don't have the original Contra, Jaws, Castlevania, I love that game, played through it, beat it, Metroid, Galaga, Mule, Super Mario 2, Turtles the Arcade Game, Dragon, Double Dragon 2, Ghostbusters 2, uh, Ninja Gaiden, gotta play that. 
played on the Sega Master System, loved it. The Punisher, Ninja Gaiden 2. Oh, Punch Out. Growing up as a kid, played it, loved it. Super Mario Duck Hunt Combo, Bubble Bobble, Castlevania 2. And uh, Conquest, The Crystal Palace. So, that's it, folks. That's uh, my Nintendo Entertainment System collection. Like I said, 250, 300 games, something along those lines. But I sure would uh, like to get your opinion about, uh, like I said, I've only played maybe a dozen of these games. And I'm so busy that uh, I've been heavy on the PlayStation 2, 4 the last few years, Xbox 360. But I love the, uh, the retro stuff. It brings me back to years ago when I was a young guy. I've got uh, some pretty cool collections I want to go through. I haven't decided if I should keep this all this stuff or sell it or what but i'm getting older now but but again folks um let's talk let me see some comments about some of the games um i'm missing for the system um and also some of the games i do have that you guys really enjoyed and some of the games in here that you might consider hidden gems if there's any i know there's some but so again thanks for watching folks and i plan on coming back and doing uh all kinds of my collections in the uh, in near future so thanks for watching i know the video quality wasn't great but uh hey it's an iphone it is what it is and uh thank you very much for watching and i, I certainly look forward to some feedback and some conversation so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time